well, why don't you marry it? For all, all you Arrested Development fans, okay. All right, so. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, seven seven is jumping back to numbers, and it's applying numbers in sentences and reactions to them. So uh, the first thing is you're going to want to make sure you are pretty good with numbers one to one hundred. Um, this one would normally have a lot of conversation in class as I try to find something that people are ridiculous about, like. What's something that people would be shocked to find out you have, you're a hoarder of? Like, do you have eight cats? Do you have yada, 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 yada? Um, so those kinds of things are what we're going to be looking at. Um, so question, uh, we're going to do one to 100. And I want to make sure that you're clear with it, that you're not just being sloppy with it. So that's what I'm going to be looking at in the next uh, homeworks and things like that, like when, when we're doing videos for this. Um, so go back and review numbers from previous chapters. Uh, and then actually the sentence that we're going to do is, uh, so something, whatever you name, whatever you name, fingerspell, cat, and then you have, now that, that's the topics, right? The topic is how many cat is, Cats you have, how many? Because we always end with the question, right? So cats you have, eyebrows up, how many? So that's going to be the interesting thing is going from topic. So cats you have, remember have, right? Possess, how many? Um, trying to think if there's anything. Practice that sentence. So the eyebrows up. Here's the topic. We've talked about topic comment sentence structure, where um, you set up an idea and then comment on it. Um, he is happy, not. Okay, so happy, not. Um, so it's this eyebrows go up, you're elevating a new topic here. It's, uh, it's kind of like setting if you played volleyball, it's setting the ball. And it pops up and then you can do whatever you want once it hits the top of that arc. Right? So you can wait and let it come back down and set up for another thing, or you can spike it down, um, whatever you want. So that's the kind of feel is that it lofts with, uh, and how many is a WH question because you're asking for a number, right? It's not a yes, no. Um, if you left it cats, you have, that's a yes, no question, right? So the topic could be a question, right? If you just cut it off before you do the WH. Yeah, that sounds confusing. So now once we've practiced that simple sentence, some topic, some item, you have how many? Now the response, oh my gosh, we're paying attention to the person responding. Um, Oh, I see. If you remember, it's the why, and you just do this. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, right, 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 right. And this often will happen while the other person is talking. So you don't have to wait until they're done. Oh, oh, oh. It's like as they're signing, once you kind of catch on, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. When your mom's talking, your parents are talking, you're like, yeah, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, move on. Get to the end of the sentence. Don't belabor it. Oh, I see. And then few, few. It's, um, I'm going to say that several is all five fingers. Several. So, so, so. Few is just three. Ooh, few, few. So it tends to be, this is pursed lips. Small. Few. Oh, few. Wow. I was expecting more. I thought you were crazy cat lady, right? Few, few. Or several. Several, several. Um, opposite of that is many. Now we do how many up? How many? How many have? How many? Versus many. It's a rain man. It's you throw things on the ground. You've got. Uh, I don't. Know, I don't. Whatever you're carrying, you throw them on the ground. You're trying to catch the vampire. They have to count, right? Where that came from, I don't know. So many, 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 many. Ah, uh, 
many, many, many. People who own comic books have many, 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 right? Because they people who collect them. Um, I have many, 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 many board games, right? Many, many, many. Um, another reaction. Wow. And it's just in like an open hand, open claw, and you just, oh, wow. Okay. You wouldn't go, it's always up. Wow. And the last one is, it's a nice way of saying bullshit. And this, if you take the horns and just go point at the person. Now, if this is the high school class, I probably couldn't say that. But bull, if you really don't believe something, bull, I don't believe you. No. Um, but a nice way of signing that is with the four, you come from like the temple and you go, it means oh, you're making it up. It's also a sign for fiction, creative. But this is much more offensive and therefore so much more fun. Um, and I suppose the only vocab that's in this is now I'm going to show two signs for hot dog. Um, one is actually a sign for sausage, but it's an older sign for hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, because a hot dog is just a boring sausage, right? Um, or, and here's the hot dog and here's the bun. Hot dog. Okay. So that's the only additional vocab that you need for this one. Um, now, we looked at the responses, and they can be grouped this way of, oh, yeah, yeah, um, it's the De Niro face. Sure, sure, yeah, got it. Less than expected. Oh, I was expecting more. Yeah. Or more than expected. Wow, that's, that's impressive. Or bull. Pff, you made it up. You're being silly. Right. So there are four different ones. Um, so again, oh, I see is expected. Few is not, no, oh, less than I thought. Many and wow are more than expected. And then there's the bull, right? And then hot dog, I suppose it depends on your reaction, Blah, right? Um, so, I mean, simple, simple uh, exercise we would do in class. I would have you ask someone, um, think of something that you have a crazy amount of or none of something and ask the other person, um, Um, so, uh, and then just go like something you, people who, um, might be surprised that you haven't done or haven't seen or haven't, or don't have, um, car. I didn't have a car until grad school. And even then it was, it was a crappy car because <laughs> it was all I could afford, but I would rely on public transport and beg, borrow and steal, no, beg and borrow from friends. Um, so, and at that time there was no Uber or anything like that. So there was nothing expensive and convenient. Um, so basic conversation just to practice and then give you a, ch a chance to respond with each of those different ones. Just make it up. Like just say, I'm going to practice with few, uh, how many dogs you have Two, few. Oh, oh, I see few. Oh, it's mechanical. You just have to practice using each of those. And then, you know, it'll come out naturally in conversation. Now, these were pain to set up. Uh, uh, I cut these up so you can have each individual sentence. Uh, for each one, they're going to talk about a topic. Like he's going to ask how many of this. Then they're going the other person's going to respond with a number. And then the person who asked the question is going to react with one of the four. Is it ordinary common? Is it more than expected? Is it less than expected? Is it 
uh, are they calling? Are they calling some bull on that answer? Um, so what you have to do is, and I put all the instructions up on top, is write that, jot down what the topic is, what's the number that's in the sentence, what's the response, and then what's which of the four responses. Um, I wish there was a better way of doing that, but choosing of the four, I could, probably should have done a little spectrum of smiley face, chalk face, or whatever. But um, so I've got each one and I give the answers in them on the slides as I usually try to do. And then there are 15 of those. And really, that's all there is in this unit. It's two things. It's practicing using those numbers. And it's those four types of reactions. Okay. So go back over. Um, um, well, they're right there on that slide. So go back over the four different types of reactions uh, and the five reactions. Um, there's wow and men, right? Those are, those are the two that sort of overlap on more than expected. And well, I suppose there are two for astonished ridiculous. So your choice, how I practice both. If you, even if you're the type of person who doesn't swear, be ready to see it in case someone swears at you. And that way you don't have to ask, what was this one again? All right. It actually comes from this sign, which people are always so thrilled to find out. Oh, I know what sign. Watch, watch. Um, this is the actual sign for manure, cow, poop. So here's, as and a friend of mine, Defren, pointed out that when you do this sign, technically you should go, the tail goes up and then poop comes out, right? Just as, It doesn't just spray unless the cow's not doing well. Um, so tail up, <laughs> and you can aim it at people. But it's not, it's not considered polite conversation. If you're talking about, um, if you're talking about poop, come on, Bob. All right. Um, all right. So that's it. That is 7.7. .7.